Finally now at four, when it comes to cleaning, everyone loves a shortcut. So imagine a product that mops your floors without you having to lift a finger. It sounds delightful. The future is here with something called a robotic mop. But is this too good to be true? Here's our Nidia Han with the answer. No one wants dirty floors, but few of us enjoy cleaning them either. I have a dog who I have to clean up after daily. I just hate it. It hurts my back. It hurts my knees. Your knees may never have to hit the floor again thanks to this thing. It may look like a robotic vacuum, but it's actually a robotic mop. Never heard of one? Consumer Reports' Tyler Ivester explains what it is. You have your more basic ones that you control by via remote control, and then you have uh, hybrid ones that are capable of both mopping and vacuuming. You can control these ones via an app. Robotic mops are designed to clean hard surface floors like tile, vinyl, or some hardwood, not carpet. To test how well a robotic mop can actually mop, CR's testers spill espresso and V8 juice on ceramic tile and vinyl flooring and then let it dry. The best robo mops tackle the stains and leave a clean floor behind. And here's a hint, models with spinning mop heads did the best job. For a navigation test, we assess how well the mops are able to avoid obstacles. We see how well they steer on furniture as well as how they interact with both cords and carpet fringe. In CR's testing, this pricey hybrid model from Narwhal came out on top, and it has an auto-clean function that will wash the spinning mop heads as well. For much less, this basic Samsung mop matched the Narwhal test for test, but it won't clean itself. However, as a bonus, it can also be used as a handheld scrubber for services like your shower. One downside of the Samsung is it's more than five inches tall, which means it may not fit under some furniture or the toe kick of your kitchen cabinets. If that's an issue for you, the moderately priced Bissell Spin Wave also did well in CR's tests and is less than three and a half inches tall. I'm Nidia Han, Channel 6, Action News.